Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. Today's video is quite different. It's all about my packaging, where I get it from and how I store it and anything else that I can think of. One of the most questions that I get is where do I get my packaging from? <laughs> So I'm going to share all of that today with you. I have done a TikTok and an Instagram reel sharing where it's from, but in case you don't follow me over there, I thought I would share it on here as well. Starting off with just my standard envelopes, and I get these from eBay and Amazon. I'm not going to say the actual shop that I get them from on eBay, just because I've had trouble with them keep going out of stock. And when they're out of stock on eBay, I have to go to Amazon. They are slightly more expensive on Amazon. If you just Google hardback, a5 or a6 whatever size you want envelopes on ebay loads and loads and loads will come up just make sure if you're getting a5 it's c5 if you want a4 it's c4 if you want a6 it's c6 that's in the uk anyway that is where i get my envelopes from my boxes i get all of my boxes from ebay there is one shop that I get all of my boxes from, but they are the best quality that I've found. I have tried a couple of different ones where the inside is um, brown and the outside is white. I found they weren't holding properly on the sides when I would make the boxes up. They weren't clicking into place properly. I'm just like making weird hand gestures at you, but uh, let me get a box. The cheaper ones, when I would put this bit in, it wasn't folding in properly and it wouldn't stay in so it kept popping out so I get these ones that they're a bit more expensive but they're better quality in my personal opinion I get the 10 by 10 which are square I also get a6 a5 and I have a4 as well just to close up of my box sizes these ones here are a5 size these ones are a6 and these small ones are 10 by 10 square for my box storage, I keep a crate made up ready to use and then the rest of them that are all flat still, I leave on the top. It's just more convenient that I can go straight to this area and grab the right box that I need and it's just so much quicker. It's not the most pleasant looking that I keep all of the flat ones at the top here, but as soon as these become a little empty or fully empty, I will just make some more up and put them in here and then I will order some more. So for tissue paper, I'm actually still in the process of trying to find a tissue paper that I'm happy with. I have shared in a vlog before about trialing some different tissue papers. My branding is like a very pale pink and I kept ordering from places that looked like in the picture it was a blush pink but every time it came it's this bright like barbie-ish pink <laughs> or like candy floss, so, yeah like candy floss pink and it's not the look that I really want. I have someone, a subscriber I think actually on a, a video a while ago actually said where to try for my tissue paper and they have a nice light pink but I'm going to try them next once I run out. Tissue paper I just get from anywhere. This stuff I got from eBay, I just typed in pink tissue paper or light pink tissue paper and whatever came up that was a reasonable price for the amount I was just ordering from there and just hoping that it came as the right pink, but so far it hasn't. One of the main reasons why I wanted to get this board from Ikea was so that I could store my tissue paper hanging up and it's so much easier having it hung up and out of the way, pre-cut, ready to use. So this is really convenient and I'll have this unit tagged below for you. My labels that I use to seal my stickers, I make them myself for the most part, but I did order the big I think they're 7.5 by 7.5 stickers from Sticker Mule. They were having a deal. So I just wanted to try it just to see the quality. And I do actually want to buy a big proper roll of my size, which is five by five centimeters. Um, it is so much more convenient having them on the roll. For my cello bags, I only use biodegradable compostable cello bags. They're so much better. They're made from cornstarch and they just break down over time. Yes, they're a lot more expensive, but they're worth it. The first place that I used to buy from was EcoCraft. They have all sorts of eco-friendly stuff on there and their cello bags. They have a huge range variety of sizes. The only problem with them now is that I think they're a lot more popular. So their wait time sometimes is about two weeks. And most of the time, the size that I want is out of stock. So I found another place that I get them from, printed.com. I actually prefer printed.com because they're say compostable, so people know that they're eco-friendly, but they only have, I think, about six different sizes, just your standard size. This size, which is 
A7. These are A6, which I now use for my notepads. I also have DL size, which are these, and my monthly kits go in here. And the only size bag that I can fit my kits in is this size, which is five by seven. I store all of my cello bags on this document holder here from Ikea. I'll have it linked below for you. And the plastic containers inside on the drawers I just got from my plastic Muji drawers. I just took the drawers out and put them in here just to divide the cello bags up a bit. When I decided that I was going to start selling enamel pins and um, washi tape, I wanted something to put them in that was a bit more exciting than just the, the biodegradable cello bag. I went for glassine bags instead. They are also biodegradable, so they're eco-friendly as well. And these are all from World of Envelopes. Again, they are very affordable. You can choose your pack size. I usually get about 75 bags of each size. For all of my orders now, I've decided to start including some journaling cards just as a little freebie. They're just nice to keep. Like I've had a lot of questions on Instagram when I share a journaling card, asking what a journaling card is or what you do with it. So for me personally, I just put them on my wall because I like them. They're like a mini print, but you can hole punch them, put them in your ring planner or just tuck them into your planner. It's just a nice little freebie for your customer, just an extra little thank you. When I wrap my orders, I like to put them in something to keep them together and also to make it look a little bit pretty. I used to wrap my orders in vellum, but it started to become a little bit expensive. And since it probably goes straight into the bin, I was seeing it as more of a waste. So I decided to just use some nice quality paper and just print thank you for your order on it and just wrap it up and seal it with a sticker. And I actually really like how it looks and how simple and pretty it looks. I use this navigator paper to seal my orders. It's 120 GSM and it's got a nice silky finish and it's four pounds from Tesco's. I was also getting a lot of questions about my vellum, whether it was biodegradable or recyclable, and it was, but people didn't really know. Whereas this navigator paper, people know that paper is recyclable. I feel like it's just a much better option. For my paper tape, I was actually very kindly gifted that from No Issue. The tape is lovely, it's really nice, and the design team are really, really helpful. For my paper tape, I now use this gum dispenser from Amazon. I'll have it linked below for you. It's so much more convenient having this gum dispenser as it's all ready for me. I don't need to use the sponge and then get water all over my desk. <laughs> So that is everything for my packaging, where I get it from, how I store it. I hope you have enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you do have any other questions about my packaging, just leave it in a comment below and I will get back to you. Thank you so much for watching this video and I shall see you next time. Bye!